early on in the series, I talk about high mount and low mount. When you're attacking from the mount, you really want to consider how strategically you're placing your body on top of your partner so that you can actually execute what you're trying to do, right? So for this next technique, we're going to do sort of a reverse armbar from mount, but it's going to come from a high mount. The reason why I don't want to have a low mount as a smaller person is because Stefan has tons of power right underneath me, right? So if I get into this position and I'm not careful, he's going to make me fly. Airtime, right? So when I start to play mount, I want to think about riding high. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to make sure that my thighs are tight against his body. I'm going to make sure that I base my hands out and I'm looking to creep my legs up. The other thing I want to keep in mind is that Stefan's probably going to be thinking about how he's going to escape. If he starts creeping his elbow on the inside of my knee, I got to make sure that my hand can scoop underneath his uh, elbow and I'm going to pull it up and walk my knee up, right? So if he does it to the other side, I'm going to pull it up, walk my knee up. I get up to the point where I'm high and I'm low, okay? I don't want to be up here where Stefan's going to be pushing on my chest, okay? That's bad for me. So I want to make sure that I'm high, I squeeze, and that I stay low. The next thing I want to keep in mind is Stefan's going to be you know, aware of the fact that I'm going to start attacking something. I've separated his upper body from his lower body. So what I want to do is I want to maintain pressure on him and look to scoop an arm. When I scoop the arm, I'm not going to have the power to just pull it up. So I'm going to come from the bottom and I'm going to spider crawl my hands up. This is fine right here where his hand is. I'm going to make sure that I can feed it and I'm sort of going to nudge my head underneath his wrist. And from here, I'm looking to bring my elbow in line with his elbow. Then I'm going to lock my hands together like around my bicep, drop my head to the floor, and the pressure I'm applying is that I'm trying to straighten his arm by walking my head out. And then as I drop my head down low, I'm going to pull inside. So if you can see, what I've done is I've completely isolated one part of Stefan's body from a different angle. Got to be careful of the mount, so I'm going to make sure I stay low and I creep up. Okay? The other thing you can do is also make note of how I'm applying pressure to the top of Stefan's head. This helps keep him down, right? Because if I'm just, if I have my hands up here and he starts to wiggle through, I'm going to end up sliding down. So as I walk up, I kind of continue to apply pressure on the top of his head so that when he tries to wiggle up, I make it a bit harder for him. I drop my pressure down, I scoop the elbow, I land it, and I walk the hand up. Once I get it into a better position, I'm trying to track the arm between my head and my shoulder. My elbow comes in line, and I'm driving pressure outward, okay? Not down, it's outward. Once I've locked the arm out, I'm looking to drop my head down, and then I squeeze in. It should be pretty tight, very uncomfortable for your partner underneath. So just a couple details here. As I'm walking up my partner, uh, I want to make sure that my feet are staying tight to Stefan's body. So one of the things I, I try to do is once I get high enough, and right now I'm not quite high enough, I want to come up and I'm going to start putting my instep on top of my partner's hips and actually using that as a way to prevent me from being pushed back down. So instead of just leaving your feet relaxed, as you start to climb your body up, place your feet on your partner's hips, on their rib cage, and you can actually use that to help keep your knees in tight and to also push your body forward, not backward. The other thing I just want to go over quickly is also the arm positioning when you're finishing the submission. It can be a little difficult or confusing if you've never seen it before and you don't know what angles you're playing. So once I've scooped the arm up and I'm down here, this is what I want you guys to take note of. My head pressure is pushing Stefan's arm towards the outside. This is essentially locking his elbow out. Once I do that, my head would be on the floor and I'm just wrapping my arms around his elbow. I'm touching my own bicep. So it's almost like you're crossing your arms in front of your chest. From here, you're going to pull the arm like you're giving yourself a big hug and then you're pushing it out to the side, right? And even from this angle, it's really uncomfortable. And it's because I've pushed his arm in here and I'm also pushing his arm out. So I'm not giving Stefan's arm a lot of movement for him to be able to uh, finagle himself out of this position, right? So again, 
When you're sliding up, keep it tight. Apply pressure outwards, slide the arms up. Hold on to your biceps, give yourself a hug, and it's done.